What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be setting up the routes of our app. Um, so we're just gonna go into the index folder and the root of source and start adding some stuff. So uh, React Router, we're gonna create, keep most of the same imports. Um, and then we also, I want to create a login page and a sign up page, which we will just, Login, login page, sign up page, um, and then right here, uh, I created both of these regular imports. I could have kept it as default, but I changed it. Cause why not? Um, and then we're also going to need some stuff from Apollo. So you notice how I was using the React Redux. Uh, Provider here, we're going to be switching that over. I'm going to say Apollo Provider from React Apollo. And then we also need our client. Import client from reducers slash index. So this is basically where everything is being wired up right now. Um, Apollo provider um, and we can pass our store and we also need to pass in the client and then we're going to create uh, two paths or two routes so uh, the index route will keep the same and then we'll create a regular route um, path uh, is equal to slash login and the component is going to be login page and we can create another one for sign up sign up sign up page okay and then we can keep the rest the same and then let's just go into the components folder and then we're going to create two files so I'm going to copy home. Uh, we're going to create a login page, and we're going to create a sign up page. So go into the login page. Um, for now, we'll just say login, and we'll call this login page. And we'll do the same thing for our sign up page. And let's come back over here and make sure everything is working. And I just forgot to put Apollo slash Apollo provider for my index uh, file. All right, so now we get no more errors here. That's good. And if I go to sign up, should say sign up. And if I go to login, it says login. Perfect. Um, in the next video, we will start setting up our next component. We're going to be touching uh, main and fixing that up and like putting some mutations and some queries in there that we can start accessing things. So for example, when the page loads, we show the number of tacos 